What's up, boxing fans? Miguel Maravilla with a preview of the rematch between Sor Ruvensai and Carlos Cuadra. Cuadra's with a 39 and 4 record, one draw, 27 knockouts for the Thai fighter. Sor Ruvensai, 50 and 5, one draw, and 43 knockouts. This fight taking place Saturday, February 5th at the Footprint Center in Phoenix, Arizona, live on The Zone. As the first fight took place back in 2014, both fighters unknown at the time. As Cuadras suffered a cut over his left eye from a clash of heads. Ruvensai deducted a point for the accidental headbutt. As Cuadras went on to win a technical decision. Despite that, this was a, a good fight, solid fight. You had Sor Ruvensai, the, the puncher, the aggressor, as Cuadras was the flashy boxer, busy. Following this fight, both fighters went on to big things as both faced Chocolatito Gonzalez. Both have also faced Juan Francisco El Gallo Estrada. This has become like, like the four kings of, of the super flyweight division. These guys have all fought each other. These guys make no excuses. These guys are not on social media. Uh, dissing each other, talking smack to each other, calling each other out, but never fighting each other. All four of these guys fought each other. So, without a question, this is the golden era for the for the super flyweights. This is, this is where it's at right now for boxing. If you're a hardcore boxing fan, you know what I'm talking about. It's, it's very hard to convince a casual fan that 112... 115 pounders are explosive fighters. Cuadras, he went on to fight numerous times following the win over Rungvinsai. In the fight against Chocolatito, that was a very close fight. Fight could have gone either way. This was a fight in which Cuadras was defending his uh, super lightweight title Gonzalez moving up it was his campaign HBO was showcasing him at the time and in that fight like I said it was close judges gave the fight to Gonzalez many dispute that including myself following the defeat to Chocolatito. Cuadras was showcased on a Golovkin pay-per-view undercard at Madison Square Garden as he won a very unimpressive decision over fellow Mexican David Carmona. After that fight to, against Carmona, Cuadras took on Juan Francisco El Gallo Estrada. What a fight this was. This fight was a very close fight. The difference in that fight was that Cuadras was down as Estrada went on to win a very close unanimous decision. Following the defeat to Estrada. Cuadras suffered another setback as he lost a majority decision to Puerto Rico's McWilliams Arroyo. Despite some personal issues outside the ring, Cuadras went on to fight three times. And then he took on Gallo Estrada in his last fight. As this was a very competitive fight. 
This was definitely a fight of the year candidate. Estrada down. Cuadras was also down in that fight. But in the end, it was Gallo Estrada that prevailed, stopping him in the 11th round. As mentioned, a lot has changed for both of these fighters following their first fight. Rubensai fought a total of 15 fights from 2014 to 2017 following his defeat to Cuadras. And St. Patrick's Day weekend, 2017, in Madison Square Garden, it was then where he defeated an undefeated Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez as he knocked down Gonzalez in that fight and also just took it to Gonzalez, cutting him, going on to win a decision, a majority decision. Many disputed that first fight. I thought that Chocolatito actually pulled it off. But in the rematch, without a doubt, Ruvenzai with the biggest win of his career, knocking out Chocolatito in four rounds. After the knockout win, Chocolatito. Ruvenzai took on Mexican Juan Francisco El Gallo Estrada as he won a majority decision over Estrada. Estrada, known for his battles with Chocolatito and Cuadras. Following the win over Estrada, fought twice and dropped a rematch to Estrada, losing via unanimous decision. Since then, defeated I'm Not Run Wrong by unanimous decision, Jamar Fajardo by second round knockout, and Ekawet Songuni. Stopping him in the third round. These three fights taking place in his native Thailand. With this fight, you have these two fighters that a lot has changed. These two guys are a big name at super flyweight. You have Cuadras that suffered a, a big defeat in his last fight, which was a fight of the year candidate. Then you have Ruvensai that's been on, on the upside. He's been the one with the more momentum despite losing tough decisions to uh, Gallo Estrada. I still think he's fought the, the more, you know, saw that he's been the more impressive. Cuadras, on the other hand, has had some setbacks. Um, I think he, he uh, pretty much has uh, seen the better days. I'm taking uh, Ruven sign in this one. As much as I'm going to be rooting for Cuadras, I'm going to be pulling for him. I, I I just think all the momentum is swinging towards Ruven sign and we could potentially be seeing a, uh, a, a trilogy with him and uh, Estrada. So that's my pick. I'm taking Ruven sign by stoppage.